Hi, this video is an example problem on a reaction mechanism when you have a fast equilibrium first step. So I'm showing here a reaction of x plus y goes to xy, and it has an experimental rate. So make sure you, you know that these rates are found experimentally. And the rate law was shown to be second order in X and first order in Y. The question at hand is to know if the below mechanism is valid. The trick here is that the rate limiting step is not the first step of the reaction. So the second step is rate limiting, the slow step. And when you write your mechanisms, we write our mechanisms based on this slow step. So if I'm writing my mechanism here, my mechanism would be, or my rate equation, my rate equation would have the form K equals, rate equals K X squared Y. The problem with this rate equation is that in my rate law I have an intermediate because x squared if we look at my overall reaction is not part of my overall reaction so when I write a rate law I can't write it in terms of an intermediate because that's not something that we can actually measure and run experiments based off of so in this type of mechanism I'm gonna have to come up with a way to write my rate law in terms of X and not X2 So let's look back at my mechanism and let's see how we can accomplish this. So as we said in the previous slide, our rate law based on the slow step is equal to k x squared y. That's on my slow step. In order to relate x squared back to X, we're going to use this first reaction. This reaction has a double arrow which represents equilibrium or a reversible reaction, which we'll talk more about in the next chapters. And what this means is this reaction goes forward and backwards so I can actually write this out here as either 2x goes to x2 or x2 goes to 2x. When I represent this as an equilibrium reaction, the rate of the four, the rate of the forward reaction is going to equal the rate of my reverse reaction. So these two reactions have the same rate. Because of that, I can set up a relationship for reaction one. It's that the rate equals the forward reaction rate, which is K or reaction constant, K1 times X squared, which is also going to equal the reverse reaction, which is K2 X2.
when I do this, I can now solve for my unknown <coughs> in terms of x. And so my rate So if I divide both sides by k2, so now I have an expression that x2 equals x2 equals k1 over k2 x squared, and I can sub that in to my rate law here. So here now I get k times k1 over k2. Let me give myself a little more space here. times x squared y. And I can lump this guy all into 1k because these are all just constants, so all that just goes away and becomes k. And therefore, that matches the rate law that we found experimentally. If we go back and we look, that's our, that's our experimental. That is what we show based on the mechanism. So it checks out, and that solves your problem. All right, thank you. Look forward to um, other videos um, from me and the future chapters. Thanks, and have a great day.